What's up guys, Armor Plated Adam here again, and today we have our part two episode of Bear Creek Arsenal, reliability, is it an epic fail? Don't know, but we're gonna find out. Uh, last video, um, pretty successful, uh, most viewed video that I've had. So a lot of good feedback in the comment section. Um, so taking all that into consideration, and we're going to have some updates for the gun itself and for some of the issues that you guys had mentioned, uh, giving it a try. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to try these anti-tilt followers. Um, this is something that I had heard of, but uh, um, noticed that some of you guys had recommended these as well. So I picked up some of these and we're going to try that in our 20 round mag. Um, another suggestion that I had from you guys was... Um, 10 rounder, so I got a 10 round magazine. We're gonna try that also. We'll try that with the standard issue uh, follower and then also with the anti-tilt one. See if this works and if it works better with that. And then also um, got a different um, buffer. So this is a carbine buffer and this is what was in the gun. You can see I still got oil on it, but uh, I went ahead and swapped that out with an H2. Um, some of you guys suggested H2, H3. Um, I kind of just went with uh, kind of middle of the road one with an H2. I uh, figured I'd get something a little bit heavier. Um, I didn't want to buy all three and test all three of them, so we'll just try H2, see what happens, see if that works. Um, and then I also got some polishing tips for Dremel and some polishing compound. Also, uh, we'll just smooth up those feed ramps if none of those other things work. This will kind of be the last resort. Um, it'll be the last thing that we try, but first we'll try anti-tilt followers. We will try different magazine, and then we will try different buffer weight. And if that doesn't work, then we will try this. If you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what you guys think is going to be the thing that solves the problem. Maybe this, I think, I think this would be good. Um, hopefully, hopefully it's the buffer. Um, I really don't want to have to Dremel anything, and uh, I hope that uh, this works too, but stay tuned, and here we go. All right, guys, what's up? We are out on the range. We have lubed the piss out of this bolt. We have, seems like it is, you know, ready to go. Now we put that new anti-tilt follower in there. It did only fit 16 rounds this time. So a 20 round mag is now a 16 round mag. We are at 100 yards. Here we go. Damn it. It got all the way to round number 15. Damn it. We were close, guys. We were really close. Thought I had it. Ugh, did it again. All right, everybody, we're back out now for day number two 
on our troubleshooting. So we tried the new magazine follower and did not work. So this time we're gonna try the same thing, only with the H2 buffer in it. Uh, if this doesn't work, we will try the 10 round magazine. And if that doesn't work, we'll try the 10 round magazine with the new anti-tilt follower. And then if that doesn't work, we'll try all of it. And then if that doesn't work, we will polish the feed ramps. Here we go with the new H2 buffer. If you will notice, look at that. My optic is no longer bridged. Don't know what I was thinking. Thanks for pointing it out. Um, it is all back behind the handguard now. So I will see how accurate it is because I did not re-zero it, but we're gonna go ahead and get going on this. So if I miss, I'm gonna say that's why. Look at that. Successful. Yeah. So that was very exciting. Cycled through perfectly. No issues. Looked good. We're going to do it again. I'm going to get in prone and I'm going to also try and re-zero my optics. So um, yeah, very cool. Awesome. So changes that we made to the original uh, that made it work last time. Uh, we started off, we tried it with a new magazine with new anti-tilt followers in there uh, did not work. We switched out the bolt carrier group and put in an NIB bolt carrier group because I found a really good deal on one and I've always wanted one. So got one of those. And after doing that, uh, we w went and got an H2 buffer weight to put in there. And with all three of those things, cycled flawlessly, worked amazing. So pumped if this works again. So we are going to load up the 20 round mag again and give it another go. This is zeroing the rifle after successful test run. High left. So I need to go down. Down some more. Okay, now I need to go left. Oh, look at that. Looks like we got a jam. Shit. Okay, so now we're gonna go right. All right, one malfunction, still much better. Okay. It's about right on uh, with uh, where I want it as far as left to right, so.
All right, those last ones were headshots. Again, no modification to this magazine, but it's got H2 buffer and NIB bolt carrier group ran without any issues. So I'm leaning more towards it's the, uh, not so much the magazine, but it's more of the buffer weight and possibly the uh, bolt carrier group. So I want to say it's more the buffer at this point because since I've switched that out, I've had a lot less issues. Whereas before, even with the NIB bolt carrier group, I did have usually like two um, malfunctions per magazine. All right. Since we've seemed to have gotten most of the issues out of the way, uh, we're going to first check to see if I can mag dump with the 20 rounder in there. And then after that, we'll try doing the mag dump with the 10 rounder. So let's see how she does. <laughs> Look at that. She did it. Awesome. All right, so for my last trick, hopefully last 10 rounder, I am going to just rapid fire, see what happens. Into this stump over here, and we'll see how she does. All clear. Well, I think I've successfully figured it out. Thank you very much for all of your guys' help and help and tips uh, in the previous video. Um, that really helped a lot with uh, trying to troubleshoot this thing. Uh, runs much better now. I'm gonna keep test firing it. It's been it's been working much better since uh, all the switches I've made. So um, again, I think it's mainly that H2 buffer on these. Uh, I've read a lot of things that said that the you know, carbine buffer weight should be just fine. But uh, since switching to the H2, it's uh, it's been great. So thank you for all the suggestions. Uh, I really helped this a lot and hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please like, comment, subscribe, uh, share with your friends if they have any issues with this uh, rifle. And uh, if you are a BCA owner, you know, let me know if you guys had any issues with it out of the box, uh, what you did to fix it, or if, you know, it came out and it was just perfect. Uh, I've heard all kinds of stories. So um, yeah, anyway, thanks for checking it out and see you later.